Thank you for tuning into the disclosures with Peter the Insider and Jessica Ariel Morocco. Peter is the director of the 12th division of the ACIO, Advanced or Alien Contact Intelligence Organization. Jessica is a galactic liaison and the interdimensional seer. Together they will discuss the most current updates from the ACIO, Council of Five and other extraterrestrial sources regarding many influences on our planet today. Our new format allows you to ask questions and hear the answers from the previous show. Post your question in the comment section below the YouTube video. Disclosures Insider Intel that keeps you updated with planetary changes. Hello everyone and thank you for joining us today on Disclosures. And we have quite a few topics to discuss. Uh, we had some interesting information from last week and so we're going to add um, more discussions regarding those topics that we brought up, uh, particularly about um, some of the new changes that are coming in. So, But um, we're going to get right into it. Uh, we have a lot to discuss So, and here is Peter the Insider. Hello to you, Jessica, and uh, to all of our listeners, all of our regular, maybe not so regular audience. Okay, and so um, we're going to start off by, we have um, quite a few articles here that, that I found that I thought maybe might be interesting to discuss, and um, we obviously have... Um, this article right here called NASA may have found a parallel universe over Antarctica where time runs backwards. So Peter, um, what's your insight on this? I don't want to say it's insight. I am pretty, pretty sure that this is not something big or whatever, because this is uh, multi type, if we want to call it that way, multi-type of, of uh, uh, door, back door, respectively wormhole we are using. As you can see, it's very good, uh, good uh, illustration picture, those balls, you know, making some sort of <laughs> weird, uh, weird string or whatever. So this is very good visual visualization, I think. And uh, it's uh, parallel, I mean, it's, it's wormhole to parallel uh, context, multiple uh, types of parallel uh, context of existence, and especially to con context of existence. Uh, all of them, the Nazis are, uh, are in charge. That means, uh, you know, like uh, parallel realities when... Uh, Germans, uh, Nazi Germany won Second World War. And, and yeah, so, um, and then But they... the problem is with the time. Problem is with the time, as you said, it is running backwards. But problem, it is not our problem. Problem is that we don't know. Um, I don't want to say we don't know, but we uh, cannot of quite fully comprehend how time is flowing because the real deal how time is flowing I said I said this multiple times it is not as we made it very very I mean extremely si simple that means like okay uh, this is this point that means right now then is uh, some solid, let's call it line, timeline. Uh, this was in the past and this will be in the future. No, 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 nothing like that exists. This uh, bubble or I don't know, like ball is perfect, uh, perfect uh, illustration of how time is working. Just, just, just uh, make, just try to imagine, try to imagine uh, uh, you sitting in some sort of invisible chair right in and you want to pick up 
something like but but i want to to know how the how the time is working how is it flowing and you will pick up some sort of as i as i i was because this is from my personal experience so i am i am describing what i uh, went through once i i was multiple time i i've got the the opportunity to to get through this uh, i simply like via my uh my thumb and and uh, pointing finger i put very tiny small piece of it looks like nothing right and it was extremely tiny like a needle in in uh, in uh, like 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 surgeons they are using it in, during operations right and then it gets bigger and bigger and bigger and it uh, made some sort of uh, like like a screen invisible hologram screen in this high tech uh, uh, you know like high tech it uh, you know exhibitions for example and this was it and I I I can uh, do uh, with it from uh, with my fingers whatever I want. So technically, move it forwards, backwards, but not only in one direction, but in multiple directions. I can do everything what I want, uh, from left to right, from uh, top to bottom, or or diagonal or whatever. And that was pretty much it. And that was totally confused like I me mean, like what the heck is that i mean no this 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 doesn't make any sense at all but this is it times time is very fluent extremely easy but we because if it is that easy but we people uh, i mean as a mankind uh, we sometimes are making from from very easy, very uh, almost primitive things, very complicated things, and then because we are doing this and it is ineffective, we are we need to make something. Uh, I mean, we, we need to make this uh, even uh, th those things uh, uh, less complicated, but we made very big, big um, misinterpretation. Do you know what I mean? And this is exactly this case. I mean, this uh, portal. Mm -hmm. And that means, respectively, we believe that time runs backwards. No, it is not true. It is only, as I like to say, point of view. Yeah? This is it. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. 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 And this, And to be perfectly honest, I can bet whatever you want that this background picture is definitely not i mean it was definitely not made by coincidence definitely not i mean those bubbles and they are uh, i mean on on uh, on uh, right side they are very big and then they are getting smaller 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 and even much slower i mean very small De this is definitely not coincidence yeah because every single time once i want to to fully comprehend, uh, respectively, I want to this to, to experience the. I mean, to to believe this, respectively, live to get to this this experience all the time. I will. Uh, I was like like that immediately in this huge crystal ball. It was very very, and it, it is very good. I mean, like you are you you are feeling so light. Everything is so fine. Do you know what I mean? Like careless or I don't know, like whatever, something like that. So, so, you, think... you, so you, you, you clearly know that you are not in our context of existence. Definitely not. You, you know it. Are they like um, ships? You know, are you actually in another reality or what, what is the or is each one a separate reality? Uh, you mean once you will want to pick up the multiple timelines or whatever? Yeah, I mean, if you, if you actually go into these uh, crystal bubbles, bubbles, bubbles. Yeah. 
Is it each um, a different context of existence or is it just like a, a micro reality or what is it exactly as far technically, as experience? Technically, technically, once it, <clears throat> in, a, in a one bubble, you can do whatever you want. <clears throat> technically, you can pick up so many random options that it is practically endless. Wow. And even this is this is even crazier that you can uh, make some sort of movements like you are on bike, not motorbike, but bike, or mm -hmm. I don't know. Bicycle. Once, bicycle stuff, yes, but once again, not mo motorbike, but bike. I mean, like bicycle, as you said, bicycle, or I don't know, like once you are inside this huge ball, you know, on the... I mean, not you, but uh, your children or whatever, and they like to play inside this this huge ball. You know, it's uh, full of air, and they like to play. For for example, they they touch it from inside with the palm palms. You know, and even with your palms, you can sh just swipe. Do you know what I mean? And you get practically the whole new uh, and other options. It's so crazy, so amazing, you know, but only, uh, not only amazing and, and crazy, but, uh, you know, full of responsibility. Right. Because sometimes you uh, can see stuff you really don't want to see, believe me. Right. Well, that that's the whole thing. When you open up and you want to see things, it doesn't filter out the things that you don't want to see as you go into that space of seeing. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. that's the way it is. So, some people think it's fun to be able to see, but you no. don't have control. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Definitely not. Sometimes it's very funny. It's very pleasant. Yes, you are right. But uh, to be honest, it is uh, something like uh, people, there are people, they can't smell. Like, you know, they can't yeah. smell. Mm -hmm. But uh, from my, at least from my point of view, someone something stink. I mean, it is really bad smell. And the one something is odor. I mean, like, it is very good. Do you know what I mean? Once, can, once you can uh, smell it. From my point of view, it's not 50-50. From my point of view, those things, I mean, like really bad smells, they are more. What do you think? I think it is like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. And this yeah, is exactly yes. it. This is exactly it. Uh, like, no, no, don't mess with with those realities or, or wormholes or whatever, because, you know, it is like dancing on uh, tiny ice, very tiny ice, you know. Be nice, yeah. So, um, did the Nordics brought these in? You mean those? What is it? Those wormholes or whatever? Yeah, these bubbles. Mm -hmm. Yes, of no. <laughs> I mean, not only them, but uh, this uh, very specific, uh, specific. What is it like? Uh, Parallel universe, but this is not once again not parallel universe, but this wormhole it is uh, leading to this parallel universe. It's spe specifically their own uh, what is it like uh, masterpiece, if we want to call it that way. Okay, because once again in Antarctica, in Antarctica, you know, Antarctica stories all the time, they are stories, you know that. Yeah, well, I mean, they someone would have had to have opened up this wormhole. Yeah. And it's so it's very likely the Nordics. That's what you're saying. Yep. Yeah. So we have some other interesting things about the Nordics that some other topics yeah, no, as no, well. No, 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 don't skip, don't skip. <laughs> no, 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 we're going to go in the sequence that, that I yeah. think makes sense. Okay. So should we, um, did you I want to say anything else on this? To be, or? To be honest, to be honest, we, we can go to next topic, I think. What do you think? I mean, unless you don't, I do, I, unless you don't want to uh, add something, because you are free to do so. 
I think that we could probably, we have to take this information in because this is a big deal. And it's one of those things that um, I'm going to have to think about it and, you know, maybe, you know, have an understanding of, I think maybe some other things will trigger some other ideas. But for right now, I think this is good as an introduction for this topic. Right? What do you okay. think? Okay. So okay. we can move forward. So sort of related to that, now we have this weird thing happening with uh, satellites in spacecraft malfunction as Earth's magnetic field mysteriously weakens. And so scientists are finding that the weakening is causing technical problems for satellites and seems to be growing in its effect. It's sort of like a, um, Aurora Borealis here. And um, this is probably at the, one of the poles, right? Because the auroras. That's, what? Because, because of the auroras. Yeah, because of auroras, yeah. Yeah. And, and, that's and I want to say I want to say something. Many people love auroras. I mean, because they are they are nice, so colorful or whatever. Yeah. And I want to say something. Th they are extremely dangerous, not because of two factors. Uh, uh, ultra high uh, electromagnetic field. They are because. Uh, can you go just uh, just a little bit down, please? Down, just down, just down. Down, please, down. Scroll down. Yeah, stop, stop, stop. This is perfect. Uh, yeah, this is it. So is this disproportion as, as we can see? So this electromagnetic field, it's uh, it's um, extremely. Uh, or low, or on one uh, one side, and extremely, uh, I mean, extremely weak. Sorry, my bad. And extremely um, uh, power, uh, powerful on the other side. And the, as you said, this is this is um, this cause problems to uh, satellites and all kind of those stuff. But it is extremely dangerous also for people. People, animals, fauna, flora, everything, right? But you need, I mean, I don't want to say not only you, but many people, they, uh, they uh, forget. It is extremely dangerous because of irradiation. Chernobyl is nothing, believe me. It is nothing. It is like just just a drop of of uh, um, of normal water to to the ocean. Like nothing. Believe me. Like nothing. And despite of this risk, people love to see aura. Uh, sorry, aurora, and they they I don't know film it or make photos or whatever. And I, I mean, I don't know this risk. <laughs> if if uh, if people from scientific community they don't want to talk about this, or I don't know what is the problem. Because so, being being in the middle of this wind, it is like inter uh, electromagnetic ma magnetic not wind. Let's call it storm or whatever. As you, as we can see this this abnormal stuff. Because electromagnetic field, uh, extremely, extreme, uh, extremely powerful electromagnetic field, it's practically the same uh, level of dangerous as uh, irradiation. And in combination of irradiation, it's extremely uh, harmful to a human body. And technically not only to human body, but you know what I'm trying to say, like... Fauna, flora, to and everything. Right. Yeah, because yeah, it protects the earth. Right. It creates e a field. E e exactly. Mm -hmm. All right. So, mm -hmm. Peter, why is this happening to you? Does the ACIO know particularly what is causing this? Of course, we know it. 
because those wormholes are uh, all over the place as we as it is this term in uh, no as it this phrase as is this phrase in english all over the place so technically on both poles but it is spreading as we as you can i mean as people as all, all of our audience people uh, as uh, we can see of course of course it is normal because of also called uh, some wind or whatever it is normal but not that big as we can see it right now i mean right now whatever like in 10 15 maybe 20 years or whatever something like that and as as give me a second yes and we as we can see uh, read in this chapter known as salt uh, atlantic anomaly yes yes of course it is during last 50 50 years fine mm. but it is crazy what is happening during last 10 12 maybe 15 mm. years yes we can we can say uh, we can talk about last 20 uh, 20 years but definitely like uh, 10, 12, 15 years is absolutely crazy. What the heck is happening? They also, yeah. someone also said that the true north is moving from the location where what was where the North Pole is over more over to uh, the Soviet Union area. Is that true? That, or Ukraine? That's true. No, no, yeah. no, no, definitely. That's true. That's true. That's true. Yeah, I don't yeah, know yeah. if it was Ukraine or, or somewhere in. Uh, in once country. again, this correlation of movement that technically caused the Chernobyl accident. Oh. No, I, I'm not kidding. That's that's caused Chernobyl accident. That the moving of the true north. Yeah. And it wasn't towards Ukraine, no. But technically, you know, all those kind of... Because... Um, uh, operating... Uh, nuclear power plant it isn't like I, I can drive the car or whatever do you know what i'm trying to say i can turn uh i mean switch on and off radio or tv or whatever and so, some stuff just happened and um, of course there is some sort of official how can i say that um, documents of course like uh, like um very popular tv show was was made was filmed uh you know anatoly anatoly it is anatoly Dyatlov. the he 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 was the main operator of the of the chef room during this this uh, this fatal night you know it was uh, from 26 to 27 april 1986 so he he made some sort of statement yeah uh, and there was some official explanation, right? Mm -hmm. But none of this is true. Even his, uh, I mean, there was some, I mean, what is this? Like the construction system of reactor that it was bad. I don't know that he don't know some, some sort of stuff. Uh, he should know that technically they know those um instabilities uh because of some sort of special ex experiments for 10 years and he don't know because he simply don't know that he was how can i say that he wasn't informed or whatever but uh, i know people they personally talked with him off camera and he said so crazy things what the heck happened during those few days before the the respectively few months and it was like one or two weeks before before the catastrophe that it definitely can't be none of this i mean not because of um, problems of engineering i mean cost um, design of reactor because of how the this specific reactors were what mates or whatever because of this as you said so technically the the how can i say it um the situation so technically the location of real deal 
um, North Pole, if we want to call it North Pole, it is not North Pole as we can see respectively. As you can go to the store and you can buy the globe, but it is not true. And because of this, how it was moving, it, uh, it uh, how can I say it? Uh, it uh, influenced the whole experiment and with fatal you do know what i'm trying to to say it was like the whole experiment went to huge bs to huge nonsense and it leads to catastrophe you know yeah uh, i mean i'm looking i'm even looking at this image right here it looks like a big black widow spider you know <laughs> yeah. it moves it's it's like you know something that just doesn't look right you know on on the um it's some there's multi ways to look at things you know the symbology or whatever but um the flow of everything the flow of everything disrupts not just that region like um that caused the problem in chernobyl but probably other places in the world that we had Issues yeah, that we I want to say. Of. I just wanna. I just wanna say that, for example, it uh, in weeks, it, it was like no paranormal stuff or whatever, like stuff of legend. I mean, region of legend. Um, help me, mm, Bermuda Triangle. No, this is not fake stuff. During last like uh, 50, 70 years or whatever, or one hundred years. It weakened, so technically that means that the region was plus minus, you know, stable, and this is it, electromagnetic stable, and it is so uh, elect electromagnetically unstable that no one dares to go there, no one. Believe me, even the Nordics from another reality, they're not theirs to, they are not, uh, they don't dare to, to, I don't know, like fly there or, I don't know, like sail or whatever, go with the, with their ships, whatever. No, they don't. Because of the, uh, the lack of magnet, magnetics. Uh... No, 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 no. Once again, not lack. Uh, instability of electromagnetism. Yes. In mm -hmm. Some some and uh, the some uh, some point is extremely low the levels, and you can I don't know like uh, go with the ship like few kilometers, few miles or whatever, and <clears throat> it is like extremely high. Or you are disoriented, like your compass <laughs> rotating like a, like a fool. You know, you don't know, you don't know where the heck am I? Yeah, like just just uh, another. You know, we talk about TV show French, but mm -hmm. I think we talk we talked uh, it off air. So sorry for that, people. Uh, but we will talk about pattern in the next topic, like second or whatever or third topic and uh, tv show lost it i mean the tv show lost technically it uh, it is happening in uh, bermuda triangle right okay once it will be real or whatever you know because it's sci-fi but uh, but uh, it it will be during it, sh it should be uh, somewhere in bermuda triangle So this is, uh, yeah, this is a very, very important topic, and and um, does so. And I want to say, you, I want to say you portals. something, and I want to say you something. Many people believe that uh, do, uh, with um, Philadelphia experiment, they screwed, screwed. That means they something went really wrong. No, believe me, nothing. They just, how can I say it properly? Sail on the sailed on the wave do you know what i mean like surfers they are using the waves so yeah. technically they just opened the door and uh, with this door uh, how can i say that like uh, they got to the wormhole but they don't create wormhole they simply got to one 
it was made i don't know how many phew, like tens maybe hundreds of millions years ago no this is it yeah because a lot of people thought that they did a lot of damage to no, the no, atmosphere no, 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 by no, no, doing no. that that's that's interesting that you bring that up Peter. that's really important because there's but, a lot of speculation again, over that yeah what once again they believed so but they don't know all of this stuff we know right now but but no no not because of this specific image or maybe because of this uh, article or whatever no those are once again of how can i say that like um, a speculative ish no, conspiracy theories or whatever those are scientific stuff you know it is not yes. it isn't nothing new or whatever definitely not mm -mm. Well, th this is the problem that i think people are trying to disclose information as we are yes. and and there is a fine line for some people because uh you have scientific proof but um they want to take all of it and just put it under conspiracy theory and i think when the articles that i'm bringing up right now are mainstream articles they have absolutely nothing to do with uh conspiracy theorists do, do, you, know so, what? do, do you know what i agree with you 100 yeah yep yeah that's it, it, true this is so we're showing that the information that we're providing has has um, a true link to to uh, scientific discussions, but people are not making the comparison, and that's some of the things that I like to do. Um, I don't there there is there are things that you cannot validate. You know, a person's experience, their some of their memories, um, some of it we just don't have any. Um, you know, historical documentation or anything like that. Yeah, but, then there's, yeah, yeah. but there are things like this that either it exists or it doesn't. And I remember telling someone there was a friend of mine and Peter, he had he had a photographic memory. He could look at a page, read a page and then forever have that memory. And he can read he can tell you the whole thing back. He could read the whole thing back 100 percent. And then he says, he, I asked him, how do you retain all this information? He says he has an internal filing system where he puts it. He actually organized because he had so much memory, right? And he, he and I had a discussion and I said, there's a, par there's a parallel universe. I said, there's parallels in our reality. And he said, no, there isn't. He said, they've not proven that. And I said, I guarantee you there is because I've seen it. I said, I know, and I've experienced it, and I understand it. And and he said, um, well, you know, we, we just, we didn't argue. We just kind of had that discussion. And wouldn't you know, about a month later, an article came out in, like, Newsweek or one of those magazines talking about scientists actually see that there are parallel universes. And I brought him the article, and I said, there it is. That's it. And then he believed it, but he believed yeah. it because he saw that it was a news article. And, and I uh, understand. You'd... I understand that people don't trust when, you, when like a psychic or a person that's, that's I, I call myself a psychic because it's, it's really like it's, some people think it's a negative term, but, or a seer. I, I, because I can experience and see these things before I understand the, the scientific dynamics of it. And uh, so, you know, it's hard to convey this information. But when I see that the science is correlating with it, it makes me feel good that at least they'll believe that, <laughs> you know. I just want to say that unless you don't want to add anything specific, specific to towards this, we can move to next topic. What do you think? Yeah, well, you know what I'm saying, right, Peter? It's, it's not yeah, easy to definitely, bring this topic up. Definitely. All right, the video is not available here, but this is called an neuroelectromagnetic frequency weapon. Yeah. Um, and they showed, well, that's a weird looking weapon um, used by the military in behavior modification and mind control is the remotely operated electromagnetic frequency weapons. These weapons are microwave, elect, extremely low frequency ELF and acoustics frequency frequencies to cover covertly manipulate the minds of persons under attack the use of frequency weapons upon human towards 
Behavioral control in murder is not new. For well over 50 years, uh, neuroelectromagnetic frequency weapons have been perfected by the covert use in warfare. And so these classified non-lethal or silent weapons have been perfected by experimenting on unsuspecting individuals since the early development. Directing a beam of frequencies to a human brain can cause a series of serious uh, side effects. Um, the ELF waves cause nausea, headaches, accelerated heart rate without cause, to name but a few. In 1974, the first unclassified successful transmission of the human voice directly into the skull of a living person was performed by Dr. Joseph C. Sharp of the Walter Reed Army Institute of Research by transforming a hypnotist's voice using ELFs. This technique was later developed into the Smirnoff scramble method and used in the Gulf War, and it is possible to hypnotize a target within the, within, without the target being aware and leaving zero trace of evidence. And then they show uh, an image. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I could yeah. read the whole thing, but I, I think we're going to have all the links available for people to take a look at some of these yeah, things. Yeah, uh, I just, I just want to open that up further. Yeah, go I ahead, just Peter. wanna, I just want to say something. I just want to say something that they don't practically in the U.S. They don't, mm, they will be not able to do those uh, kind of stuff with. Uh, uh, without people from uh, from uh, my homeland, from Czech and Slovak Republic, they are uh, like four immigrants, yeah, and uh, they made uh, they made it uh, to US, and they made some sort of very weird ass deal uh, with uh, US, uh, UK, Canada, and Soviet Union. It was extremely complicated. This um, type of, of file is sort of, uh, let's call it touchy and uh, and uh, and uh, till nowadays uh, highly highly like top secret uh, area. Let's call it that way, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, they made even in Czech, Czechoslovak Republic, Socialistic Republic, we we made uh, some sort of um, sort of uh, like serious scientific uh, research how to transfer idea. I mean, from one uh, man uh, mankind to another being, but not directly because they know uh, how to do it directly from Germans uh, in a uh, second world war but uh, to the machine they made extremely small tiny tiny machine uh, approximately in uh, size of uh, watches like normal watches you can get wow. uh, on the on the hand Mm -hmm. And uh, the range was incredible. The range was uh, was uh, like uh, like uh, for what it was approximately 200, maybe 250 kilometers. So that means like 120, 140 miles, something like that. And uh, practically, you can say you can not say. Mm, let's call it. You can convince the target object to think practically er er anything you want think do you know what i mean like this is my idea but it wasn't your respectively my original idea do you know what i'm trying to say like yeah. convince yeah 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 and uh, they don't need necessarily to uh, how can i say that to use this like cause noisia or whatever you know because once uh i want to convince and i convince success successfully uh my idea that it is enemy idea do you know what i'm trying to say uh, it is ineffective to cause all kind of the stuff so those stuff you read I mean the, the 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 tiny part of article because it's long as article. It's only as, as I like to say uh, U, U.S. stuff. They add to the initial weapon system. 
and they made they got in uh, uh, late 50s i think late as 50s respectively yeah. uh, very early 50s. 60s 60s something like that yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so it's in the in 50s the in the uk usa yeah yes yes yes, yes. Uh, you you can see that i am not i am not kidding i am not kidding because i know those people personally i know so, those people people personally from czechoslovakia i know them personally and they they uh, they told me so crazy stuff i mean like, what the heck and i saw really real deal on my own eyes i saw those apparatus it looks some sort of like bigger watches like those how can i say that like people for men watches for men you once you want to dive or i don't know like also yeah. called Sports also watch. called sports watch yes or yeah. also called pilot editions do you know what i mean like it's mm-hmm. bigger and uh, and um, you've got multiple functions and all kind of the stuff but it isn't not a big deal and in uh, and in 50s i was like what i was impressed <laughs> you know and it was in in uh, in the times when uh, when everything should be cheap whatever do you know what i'm trying to say because we were living in in a socialist regime and it was like they need to get tremendous amounts of money and energy to develop such a small <laughs> do you know what i'm trying to say yeah it's a, a lot of the technologies coming from yeah 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 yeah, from yeah. Eastern yeah. I, I mean i was really I was really impressed, believe me. I was really impressed. Yeah. So Peter, do you think that um that civilians are targeted because I think a lot of people feel that they're targeted by this type of technology by maybe it getting into the wrong hands? That's possible, right? What do you mean if it is possible or not? I, I... This technology getting into the wrong hands and then people feeling like they're targeted. This that, that there's a whole group of people very large uh, population that, that feels that they're targeted and weird things that that you know they feel like they're getting hit in the head or or something like that you know um by some kind of like energy field or weapon um so i was just wondering if if this kind of technology has gotten into the wrong hands already and and that people are being targeted for different reasons of course it is it is and once again it, it should be it one two three sorry it is uh, so old weapons all old fashioned sorry for that once they get it uh, how can i say that like um they get it public you know because yeah. i know um, any many any stuff like but uh, it is uh, how can I say that? Like it is classified because it is an uh, ongoing case, and of course I don't want to sabotage the case. You know, like yeah, I am. Not, I mean, do they I even not so say stupid. that a person can get killed? You know, a slow kill or fast kill, and yeah. and the, the the killer is not even around. But like this was meant for military, yeah. and uh, those people are feeling that. But over here, it does it does mention Pine Gap and yep, Echelon. Yeah, I know so, that. Alice Springs, uh, Northern Terror, Australia, um, let's say harp remote mind control, so forth. But yeah, I mean, it's you can see this. I just want to say we know we know about those about those those type of weapons, but it doesn't mean that we are uh, using, using them. them. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's it's not what you guys do. That's why you're able to talk about it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah exactly. Okay, so here it is. Oh, uh, oh, oh, Mobius Capital Partners. Definitely. Yeah. Um. So here's uh Back to the Future. There it is right there. Back to the Future. It's time to return to emerging markets. Yeah. I mean, strategy. And this is official website. Hey, people. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I mean. I'm just a little tragic. bit excited. I am just a little bit excited because many people don't want to believe that any kind of Mobius exists. Yeah, here it is. Here we go, people. Here we go. <laughs> Sorry, I mean, it's. Oh, and here's all you know the team, and this is um, Mark Mobius, right? Is is that his? 
Here's our team. Yeah, it's money. Uh, this is him right here. Yep. Mark Mobius. Uh, Carlos von Hardenberg. Uh, let's see, I don't know how to pronounce his name. And do you know? He's Konechny. Konechny. That means uh, uh, he's from, uh, he's from uh, Poland. Okay. And then this guy right here is... Uh, from Germany. Germany. He's from uh, Poland too, you know that. Mm -hmm. Usman Ali. Yeah, he's from Tur Turkey. Turkey. Yeah, he's from Germany too. No, you... hey, give me a second. He's from Netherlands, my bad. Netherlands. Yep. And the, uh, you can see... One hand. Yeah. Uh, she's from uh, Germany too. And uh, actually, she's from Sweden. She she has doesn't have blonde hair. I mean, no, you you this need to right get here. to the yep. Uh, she she doesn't have blonde hair, but you know she's from Sweden. Okay, and this one right here, Nina. Yeah, she's from Norway. Norway. Okay. So um, yeah, the focus is here. Uh, and and yeah, so the, and I want to say something. Look at the, well, look at Mark Mobius. He is exactly like observers in TV show French. Look at mm. look at him. And you, the white you, you suit. You need to make you need to you need to make uh, make him um, colorful with your cursor. Yeah. Yep. Look at that. He's like exactly like observers during the French. In, in French TV show. And the white suit. Uh, someone contacted me and they said there was someone showed up in a white suit. Yep. And I was like, yeah, it's someone that wants to make themselves look good. Like they're a good person. And they avoid the darker colors to mask, you know, to give a different impression. Exactly. Yeah. So here's, there was an interview that was done. Um... He was yeah. on the Bloomberg Markets and Finance. So that technically mostly. means that technically means, as we like to say, it is not fake media or uh, how can I say that, like um, conspiracy theory media or whatever. It is. V um, I don't want to say only mainstream, but uh, verified and well respected media. Am I right? Right. Absolutely. So this, this and look is, um, at the at the title of video, COVID nineteen vaccine isn't the answer to recovery. Bam! End of period. End of story. You got it. Yeah, he was on. The, so the co-founder Mark Mobius says he doesn't think a coronavirus vaccine is that important to our economic recovery. He says he speaks with Bloomberg's Alex Steele on Bloomberg Daybreak America. And uh, essentially, they were, you know, talking about, um, you know, and this, this, all this the, but the that's comments the, were that's crazy. That's the problem. Do you know? That's the problem because they said about he he said it about uh, economy, but the problem is it was not economy. It is uh, about like um, economy, and it should be some sort of uh, parallel. To, to, how can I say that, like uh, a health state. Do you know what I mean? It's absolutely crazy. People don't believe it, but, and they underestimate it a lot. So he, he wants everyone to go back to work, but then a lot of, uh, I don't know, he, what's your idea on that? So he just wants people to go back to work and what's the angle? I mean. Because the there will be, there sorry one two three there there will be not only second or second but third fourth maybe fifth wave of covid and i don't know how many millions maybe tens of millions people died yeah so. because of because of multiple uh, not multiple but multiple tens multiple hundreds of mutations spread wide uh, spread uh, worldwide extremely fast like a, like a lightning strike fast extremely like 
does he make a lot of money when people are working? Is that also of another? Course, of yeah. course, of course. So he doesn't care. He just wants uh, the economy going. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And you could see he doesn't really care much about anything. Yeah. I mean, oh, no, 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 no. You are not right. He ca he cares about himself, about, about money, assets. Oh, sorry. I mean, it shouldn't be ironic. Sorry. But so is he is he the head of Mobius? Is this it? Is this he's the yeah? Of primary? course, of course. Because you never mentioned him as Mark, but now. Hey, because he's main behind the curtain. Mm, yeah. Well, he he's no longer behind the curtain. Once again, because he don't want to be right now. It is something like umbrella, you know. Yeah. To coming and try out. to think and try to think how many. A uh, well, br most brilliant, I don't know, m actors, musicians, or whatever are Mark. For what I don't know, like Mark Wahlberg, Mark, um, uh, the singer. There's nah. a Mark Han Hamill, Mark, uh, yeah, I guess there's a whole bunch of them. Um, Hamill or whatever, yeah, yeah, as you said, whole bunch. And what do you think? Is this coincidence? No. Coincidences never exist. Nope. All right, so I dated a Mark. What does that mean? Sorry, what? I, I dated a Mark. Someone uh, by the name of Mark. Once again, it is some sort of num numerology stuff, but I am not into numerology, so I can't say. Not because I so don't I want. I am it, was, not... it was a nightmare either way, so <laughs> sure. It was yeah. related to that. But yeah. no, we shouldn't laugh because people will criticize us. No. You should be very serious. No, you know that. I mean, it's a nervous <laughs> laugh, definitely. Yep, very, yeah. very nervous. Yeah, and was he a redhead? No, but I'm just trying to say that uh, we shouldn't Let's... be laughing. Do you know what? Was he a redhead? Yes. Why? Yeah. I'm just trying to say that we shouldn't be laughing, but because because people start to criticize us that we will we are not making show serious or whatever yeah. well i think it's i have a nervous laugh definitely so that's you know that's you know just just the whole thing of knowing that things are are really messed up and how my life has been affected by this oh this topic will be hot yeah. jesus man that will cause heat just click on it this topic will cause heat oh mm -hmm. no this topic will cause heat. All right, so you told me this is called the Perfect Unification Program or the Cult of the White Rabbit uh, yes. or, or PUPS, P-U-P-S, Perfect Unification Program. Yeah. All right, so this, this, is, a, this is the next wave, the next generation of uh, tampering with our children. Yeah. They they steal them once uh, they are like between one and uh, two years old approximately plus minus. They are choosing them extremely extremely precisely uh, because of of uh, bloodline because of uh, how can I say that DNA heritage because of context. Uh, I mean what they they are they are. Um, uh, parents, respective grandparents, respectively, you know, like descendants, what they've been through, whatever. And then they put them into the worst of the uh, worst case scenario, as I like to say, you know, like um, nightmares uh, in the Mars, then on Jupiter, and they, they are wiped uh, out to the realities uh nazis i mean the bad the, the bad reality the bad part of the reality no not reality uh let's call it um, context of existence but technically no nazis are not in charge no nordics are in charge nordics yeah well fourth reich yeah yeah, yeah fourth reich yeah yeah you are right and uh, they are making uh they are making uh Little that from them, you know, and uh, it's like well, ah, this is this this is disgusting, you know, this is disgusting. 
These are the patterns. Well, they are, well, this they is are the doing... patterns, right? You said this is the patterns. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is the part. No, this is part of pattern. Part of pattern. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and uh, uh, they are doing them. No, no, people. I am not. I am not kidding you. They are making uh, surgery or surgeries, multiple surgeries on them without anesthesia. So without narcosis, you know. So they're becoming very violent, aggressive. Of course, because they uh, made them uh, to make their pain of limit like almost like nonsense, like crazy as high. high. And of course, as you said, uh, I don't want to say uh, violent, but like um, unstable. And because they have so many uh, power, power com concentrated. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Like something like this. Yeah. And then this symbol right here. So we're going to go like this. See if it comes up bigger. This symbol right here. Do you know what is it? It's a Mercury symbol. Yes, of course. Got and do you know what is it? Mercury. And do you know what is it? What? Try to think. For people, for our people, mankind, it's poison. Yeah. But, yeah. but for them, they like to eat it. So they change their their uh, physiology. Yep. And of course, technically, so many people love to hear this mesmerizing voice and the well brilliant written songs queen freddie mercury mm. hey, bam here we go sorry i mean i <laughs> is he a is he a part of these programs uh he was but he have no goddamn idea about that Oh, he didn't know that he was, he was, used. No, 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 he no. was, he was, they used him. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Misused, 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 misused. Why did they, why did they, uh, why did he give himself the name Mercury? Because he loved Mercury, you're saying? No, they did that. They designed everything. You, hey. They, they told designed. him how to, how to, how to look. Uh, how, uh, exactly. Everything. And, and uh, he was, you know kind different kind of we know that like homosexual yeah oh, and geez. you know and you know that this uh, uh, boys it is exactly in those training facilities uh, as in sparta so technically only boys do you know what i'm trying to say yeah, and technically only girls. So once they need to make new children, that means another uh, light soldiers. But no, 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 not light soldiers. But light soldiers. Hmm? They need to make it very complicated because uh, boys. They I I not don't want to say that they are transgenders, but. Uh, this 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 very specific term metrosexuals that means that they are taking for take for care for themselves too over do you know what i'm trying to say a that? lot of grooming you mean yeah yeah so grooming. technically yeah. so technically that means they are straight the boys respectively the the men they are straight but they are almost like uh, like girls respectively women do you know what i mean like being in in um, uh, bathroom or whatever, or, or they don't know how to make their their hair or how to what what to wear or whatever something like that. Mm -hmm. And then girls, respectively, women, something like that, but vice versa. So you know, not co not uh, skirts, but uh, trousers or whatever. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Some sort of like that. Yeah, yeah. So they're kind of uh, not interested in fixing themselves up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tom more tomboyish. Short, respectively, short, short, some sort of 
uh, short uh, hair. I don't want to say completely boyish hair, but at least uh, not not more than shoulders or whatever. Or do you know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. um, neck, as we can see on the picture, neck-ish hair or whatever. And as you said, not being that hundred percently, it is called slang by slang, cute or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because without doing this, they will not attract each other. Do you know what I'm trying to say? They, it will not work. Do you know so what I mean? They're trying to gr uh, groom them to be um, uh, to be only attracted to the same sex. No, no, no. Once again, once again, vice versa. Give me a second. Because they grow up separately. Once they want to to uh, get both of them. Uh, being attracted to different uh, different sex, they need to uh, boys look slightly than girls and respectively girls slightly uh, less boys. Do you know what, what I'm trying yeah. to say? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Once again, as Sp in Sparta, as in Sparta, because you know, once you grew up only with girls, respectively only boys uh, as a boy in bo with boys, eh, not a big deal for you. It's like mm, mm, nothing. Do you know what I'm trying to yeah, say? Yeah. So, like, so then, when you see the girl or the boy sees the the, the girl or girl sees the boy, that yeah. there's there's the, the, there's more of an attraction. You yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's because without this. There will be no attraction. Do you know what I mean? Like, yes, yes. Because of the type of training that they're going through. Yes, yes, yes. What is yes. the purpose of this this uh, training? What What is the purpose of what What are they using them for? What are these children being used for? No, you don't know. Like little that, like doing their own stuff. That's for the Nordics. They're, they're working for the Nordics. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. But luckily, luckily, few of them were stolen. And they are cooperating. And it is not just, I mean, I need to ask you, what do you consider as a few? Let's call it that way. As a few? Yeah. Like number, few. What do you consider as a few um i don't know it it could range it depends on how many that there are that you okay know, so let's scale uh, let's of talk, the million you know 100 let, let's a talk few. about let's talk about it's like uh, 80 maybe 100 millions of them like they are training approximately wow. like the, it is actually germany so it is like eight 883, uh, 85 millions of people, like in total in Germany, but they are training so many children, like so. So, quite so, considering this number, what is few from your point of view? Um, a couple hundred. Oh, okay, no, 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 no. It's approximately uh, like uh, what it is. It is approximately quarter, uh, three quarters million is approximately uh, 800 thousands of them. Okay. Approximately. Yeah, that you've been able to pull out. Uh, technically, they don't want to be anymore in there. Oh, okay. Because they consider it as very violent. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, typical as typical Nordics, crazy punishments and whatever. Right. Well, hopefully, some of these things. I mean, it's it's unfortunate another group of uh, children get get affected by these groups. But um, we'll we'll probably go back to this subject again. I'm going to do some more research on it. And we'll talk more about it. Yep. Do you want to go into the next topic? Of course. Yeah. I unless you don't want to add no. anything. No. So we were talking earlier about the Aurora Borealis, and here is a place called Aurora, Aurora, Auroville. Um, yeah. But it's almost like Aurora. 
uh, an international utopian community. Now, last week we were discussing um, the um, Ubuntu or the um, bartering system. And, yep. and so here is, you know, this one of a kind experimental community gathering on the outskirts of Southern India, preparing to mark the 51st first anniversary with a series of activities. Oroville is professed utopia hosting people from over 55 countries was formed with an aim of attaining unity and harmony among its inhabitants. 20 square foot, square uh, kilometer city is also known as the City of Dawn and is located uh, near Pondicherry in the south of the country. Uh, the brainchild is Mira Alfasa, a French woman, locally known as the mother, who was inspired to um, her close friend, uh, Sri Aurobindo, uh, an Indian philosopher and, and yoga guru. So, I mean, it's definitely talking about the harmony of all creeds, all politics, all nationalities and settlements. And, you know, I'm not advocating this. We're just using this as a sample. I don't belong to this group. And I'm not, I, I don't even know what their full belief system is, but I, I have heard about them before. Um, they're recognized by the UNESCO um, group establishment, and it consists of four zones, industrial, international zone, cultural zone, and residential zone. So that, you know, they actually created all these different zones where people are living. But, but, but this is it. Look at that. First, it's, uh, th two seconds, two se uh, sorry, two things, basic. Mm -hmm. uh, agricultural system, yeah. as, as we can see, give me a second, please, okay? Uh, it is a circle agricultural systems, uh, what is technically uh, in ancient, respectively pre-ancient ages, uh, it was... Um, uh, implemented, so getting in the praxis, and the very, very first uh, mentions of that, it was uh, it was uh, discovered in the ancient, so technically Proto-Slavians, that means Slavic people, I am Sl uh, Sl Slavic, also Slovak, right? Mm -hmm. And, and I want to ask you, as you can see, on the picture, sorry, I'm making, I shouldn't make fun from it, but uh, I am making fun from it not because it is funny, but because this is definitely not coincidence. As you can see, what is it uh, so close for? I will say you if you don't recognize. You mean this part right here? No, 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 everything, the whole picture. The whole picture, yeah. I mean, let's take a look at. No, 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 no. Do you want us to do these or some other pictures? No, no, no. Just, just go to the original page, and I will say you. All kind of these patterns, crop circles, crop circles. Look at that. All of them are extremely similar. Okay, go to next page as you as you was. Yes. Look at them. I mean, it looks look like at them. Look at this. Yeah, look at them. All of them as the crop circles. Look at them. All of them as a crop circles. You you, you can uh, you you can scroll down. You can scroll down practically. Yeah, yes. There's this there's lots of pictures here, and yeah, look at the once symbology. Again, too. Yeah, but once again, once again, yes, eagle for example. The, what is this? Uh, the the it's cross. Like what is this? Yeah, Help it looks me. like a, a Celtic cross almost. Yes, and what is this? This, this almost is... looks Native American with all yes. the print. Yes, yes, uh, yeah, maybe Greece. Um, I don't know. Yes, this, yes, yeah. yes, yes. As you said, Egyptian maybe over here that looks like an eye. Yeah, uh, or maybe or maybe snail. I mean, ask a god. As, yeah, as you. Ask God here. Yes. But this is it. They, and even this, they so look... this is a close up of it, of the yeah. actual. And it, it is our echelon. We love them. Sorry yeah. for that. But he, oh, I, I, I shouldn't get such, such so excited. Yeah, it's know. like the echelon that you have over it. But once again, yeah. no, no, no. 
this was in uh, this was inspiration of Echelon, not vice versa. Of course not. You know, I mean, I so got so yeah. excited for that because it's it's so nice. You know, like. So oh. some of those pictures, right? There they are. It is so nice. It is so nice. I love them. Our balls. Yeah. I I, right, al so I always I always say, hey, let's play some tennis, maybe golf. <laughs> Sorry for that. It's... <laughs> tell us about the purpose of those, Peter. What they they what are they, mean. they are raiders. They are uh, raiders, ra raiders, and uh, we can uh, monitor practically any sort of. Uh, fields i mean uh, electro electronic field magnetic field electromagnetic fields radiation everything you practically can can like the uh, imagine that's the scale of them they're pretty large yep. it looks like yeah 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 i mean i'm so happy you know with this with this this show because i think that this will definitely be best format to get through validate link and people uh, just can't get us hey you are faking all the kind of stuff because those are solid solid web links uh, I think that they you uh, will be able to get uh, all of them in the video description what do you yeah. think yeah yeah we'll have all the links there for people to look at I I just I find this pretty uh, you know yes. interesting it's very very interesting and um yeah and i don't i mean you know you and i talked about the problem they they bring in all different belief systems or whatever and um this this is a community it's a self sustaining community and they've yeah. created the industry it's their format probably looks like it works for them um i you know i i don't but know do people you know what wanted is problem to. do you know what is problem it be, it is people sorry it work respectively it will work only for people they are uh, full of uh, of uh, meekness i mean like uh, prostration press uh, prost uh humble? Prost you mean like you're humble he like has like humble humbles humble. yeah like uh, uh prostrations you know mm -hmm. prostrate and yeah and uh, what you you can uh, say it maybe for uh, for me <laughs> prostrate like yeah like someone that's like, you know yeah. like a, a person that like is uh, in a belief system or they're humble or they're bowing down in a way they're they're like um you know in prayer you know yeah. as a prostrate yeah and uh, and uh, uh they have zero vanity i don't know or maybe like uh, how can i say that like uh, boast systems or whatever in their minds and that's it how many people are like that just say me how many yeah yeah it's not easy and, and during the day i mean you can see some of it they're just surrounded by trees they said it's quite beautiful <laughs> yep this is the uh location where it's at in india and i was just having a conversation with um uh, a friend of mine uh from um, he is, geez, I'm trying to remember if he's from India or from Pakistan. Uh, I believe he's from India. And he was talking about the, the Southern Indian, uh, the, um, that they look like the Aborigine people. He says, if you look at the both of them, they look like they have the same genetics. And mm -hmm. is that true, Peter? Are yeah. they the same people? Yeah. So he said that, I don't yeah, want to say same, but do you know what I'm trying to say? Like, yeah, yeah, like at some point in time, there, there, that tribe traveled. Is that true? Once again, like, can you can you repeat that? I mean, like, like as like as if they traveled from India over and somehow ended up over in Australia. Yeah, because Aborigines—that means uh, native Australians, you know. But 
they've they've got so full of, full of wisdom they are so full of wisdom and yeah. we i mean people they colonized uh, australia they 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 such a humiliate them that's no i i hate that no no but they well the genetics can be the same and, and just like in um the native americans you know some of them are not all of the tribes or bands but some of them are from uh asia from yeah. the very straight but uh, yeah the the whole thing with the aborigines people think that um you know have said that they're just are there and nowhere so, else sorry for interrupting you but maybe you you should get to original page or or reveal you you study yeah 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 for our our listeners you know yeah yep. and this is it for 50 from 55 countries i mean no this is not uh, this is not uh, just a joke and look at that it was originally founded on uh, 1968 and do you yeah. know what <laughs> i know i know this year because a uh, good friend of mine was born in 1968 you know like mm. yeah and large. he came back to to life he was dead and he came back to life who is this just one of your friends yeah like some sort of like best friend technically you've got friends very close friends but mm -hmm. you've got only one best friend and you he wasn't in another dimension or whatever he was he was like killed yeah uh, because the body was uh, heavily damaged yeah but i was like what the heck how is that is possible and he uh -huh. and he told me such a stuff and he was re-aged i mean like heavily re-aged and he said me and this is extremely close closely related with this topic because he, he got indian uh, wife and uh, she some she got some sort of real deal magic you know because this is once again because once uh, the body isn't so it is it isn't big deal but he was like really like heavily you know um uh, the body was this distracted by uh, by uh, some sort of you know it was killed in action technically in the battle and he was like what because i can recognize him once he was younger much younger and he was i was like uh okay uh, is it is he your twin because sometimes you know you met people they are totally they like me like zero chance to be um from family even wider family they are from total different country maybe continent or whatever but he've got everything like the same memory he is even speaking the same accent of do you know what i mean my my native my my mother tongue and whatever mm -hmm. and technically mm -hmm. uh, she's from this part of uh, of uh, india his wife you know oh okay i just want to say the, because this is this is i mean this is the stuff I definitely uh, want to say uh, in this opportunity. Yeah, yeah. I think the 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 group that I was thinking of was was the Dravidians, the Dravidian people. The the ones that they say sometimes have bluish skin. Their skin is. is... Do you know what? Do you know what I just want to say? She in the meditation, in deep meditation, she get almost like in this. Uh, avatar movie it is very crazy wow she's getting transparent uh, you can see the muscles the wings everything the brain and uh, she see trouble and very like uh, blue sky whatever some sort of like that it's mm. yeah Wow, that's that's wild. So, is, does she do work with the ACIO as your friend? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 She vo she volunteered ACIO, you know. Oh, that's interesting. I bet you meet a lot of interesting people. I know, I know, I know. 
Next topic. Yeah, we can move to the next topic, I think. Just another to go along with the whole topic of, of sharing and food. Um, this is Atlanta, Georgia, turned seven acre vacant lot into the largest food forest in the country, in the US. That's, that's a great idea. They have uh, free food for anyone's organic fruits, nuts, veggies, mushrooms, and herbs. They yeah, turned it to right. form a food desert into a food forest. Yeah, that's, that's true. That's, that's, that's a great idea. And yeah, you know, we, we do have locations like that and people get involved. And there, there were people that want to do stuff like it looks like they have some bees too, so they probably have honey. And this is the layout there, and we'll have this also as a link for people to look at. But there's probably a ton of ideas and people wanting to do something like this to help out. Nobody should go without food, and no one should have to be homeless, in my opinion. Um, anything else you want to say about this, Peter, before I move on? I think uh, we are pretty much okay because we talk about uh, <clears throat> those type of societies. But uh, to be honest, I don't know if it is a good idea to get uh, food or any type of goods or whatever for free because people, you know, people in this type of society, I mean modern society, they will misuse this. Well, not if what a, a lot of places like that will ask you to donate your time, and right. and to do ah, you something. Mean time and work. Time and yes, time and a little work. bit. Yeah. Uh huh. And ah, so they okay. so, so they this have is some sort of payment for them. Yeah, I think that's the exchange, and I have seen people that have um, you know different types of farms or whatever where you can go in there and if you you know help them out with some type of task. And then in turn you get the food. So there's, oh, I think there's, okay. so there's, this is this is their currency. If we want yeah. to call it, call it currency, because this is barter system. Okay. okay. I'm, I'm guessing, Peter. I'm guessing. I don't know if that's exactly how they set it up, but I know that most of them do set it up that way, where you're doing some kind of exchange. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah. Just to help out, and in that way, who's going to manage a forest? filled with with plants that need to be harvested you know, know what stuff. you know what i think you are right yeah yeah i mean i shouldn't laugh but i just i'm just trying to say that uh, you know even with the days like um sometimes it's better to be more closed because once you are way too wide opened People, sh they, I do know what I'm trying to say. All the time, there will be people they start to misuse it. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, but you know, you know, in, in the way that there's there's a certain laws that we have on the earth of exchange. Mm -hmm. So you know, you give something, you get something yeah, in return. Yeah. It's only I it's know. only right. That's that's a natural law. So yeah. So here we have this uh, fire at shuttered Dutch nuclear plant in. In the Netherlands, right? Uh, no yeah. radiation risk, but there was a fire here. Uh, the Hague, Netherlands, the fire broke out on Thursday at a decommissioned nuclear plant, power plant in the central Netherlands. I just want to say the, it is not so 100% closed, that means uh, turned off. And they are uh, those uh, huge motherships, they are using uh, the, um, the power. I mean, electric, electric, and this is it, not only electric power, but electromagnetic power field, a stabilization system for their um, landing, you know, like we can call it like airport, but this is not airport, but do you know what I mean? Like some sort of runway or whatever. This is the Nordics are doing this, you told me so when I asked you about it. Yep. Yeah. No, give me a second. No, not Nordics. I mean, they, let's call it invented, invented it, but multiple types of races are doing it because it's the most, uh, the, the easiest and the most effective way uh, how to use, how to do it. Yeah. And fastest way or whatever. Do you know what I mean like that? Is this going to be happening at other decommissioned nuclear power plants? Mm, 
pretty much yes because it's something uh, similar like to to um, earthquakes you know many earthquakes i mean most of the i mean not small tiny but huge earthquakes it is very easy explainable uh, because of this this sorry i mean because of uh, mothership's engine uh, engines uh, started you know yeah why why is this i mean is it going to hurt the planet all this activity no definitely not no okay nope all right so Here's all right. Here's this weird one that I came up with. Um, oh, do that will be oh, that will be a heat creator too. That will cause a, a lot of heat. But okay. do you know what? Do you know what? I I am happy that we br bring up this this multiple links, and be and people know that. I mean, they 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 can do this and that and that. I, I'm happy with that. Because people start to what to to almost to bully us to troll us or whatever, and I'm happy that we start to do this. Okay, just read through the article. Okay, so this is something I was doing some research regarding my book, and um, uh, some of the stuff that I I do with the Andronicus transmissions. I'm actually coming out with my first book, and so and it has all the tr transmissions in there. So anyhow, I found this. And I just happened to stumble on it, and it's um, 1962. I guess there was a television show called, uh, no, actually in 1977, Anglia Television Broadcast Alternative 3, the final program in its science report, a series of, of serious science documentaries. The program was simultaneous, simultaneously telecast in the UK, Australia, New Zealand, Canada, Iceland, Norway, Sweden, Finland, Greece, and Yugoslavia. So, but in, in 1962, the superpowers of the Earth undertook a secret space program to transport an intellectual elite to bases on the moon where, with the labor of ordinary humans serving as their slaves, they began to build a new world. So this is kind of the premise of the idea. Um, and then they did this television show, and there was a script by David Ambrose and Christopher Miles declaring that the superpowers have been working secretly together in space for decades and their accomplishment in building bases and conducting interplanetary travel have advanced far beyond what they have officially released to the public. Ultra secret joint U.S. and Russian conferences are held each month in a submarine beneath the Arctic ice cap, which sounds like Antarctica or something. Uh, exactly. Uh, this, is, this is very important. It is, it's because they kind of made it look like it was a fictional thing, but this now, as as time has gone by, this is 1962, 1977, we see this these things were actually happening. And uh, shortly after World War II, the superpowers determined that the Earth would soon be unable to support life and that our climate's recent strange behavior was only a preview of tremendous cataclysm, cataclysms to come. High-level scientists and politicians viewed three possible solutions, alternatives for humankind. And so here's the alternative one, is halt immediately all pollution and blast through two large holes in the ozone layer to allow excessive ultraviolet light to reach the Earth. While this might eventually restore plant life and reduce pollution, millions of humans would be likely to die of skin cancer. So that's alternative one. The alternative two is immediately begin constructing underground cities for the elite and allow the billions of human humanity on the surface to perish because of whatever is going to happen. On, yeah, and on give me a surface. second. Technically, this is it. We we talked about practically all the alternatives. Yeah, let me read the third one and then we can go into discussion. Um, the third alternative is construct spaceships and transport the elite off the planet to the moon and Mars, and the rest of humanity would be left behind to die. The governments chose Alternative 3 and began devising a plan to preserve a tiny nucleus of human survivors to continue the species. And then since the 1960s, government agencies around the globe have been kidnapping ordinary people for common labor and turning them into mindless autom automatons by advancing brainwashing methods 
the few reports of NASA astronauts that leaked out concerning strange things sighted on the moon were suppressed by the secret agencies of the superpowers in order to keep the masses ignorant ignorant of the overall sinister plan. Uh, it started off like a science fiction. <laughs> this this is pretty bizarre. All right, so go for but it. I mean, I mean, it's nothing. I mean, it's for me, it's nothing uh, bizarre. It's not a bizarre because it is also part of also also called, called soft disclosure. For me, it's nothing bizarre. Yeah, absolutely no. But I mean, you know, people forget that they've been talking about this. Uh, people are trying to leak the information, uh, ca calling it, um, like you said, uh, science fiction. And it becomes but it's soft safe. disclosure. Technically, I don't want to say all, but like eighty, maybe even ninety percent of 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 uh, science fiction also called science fiction, should be uh, in real deal called uh, soft disclosure, yeah? Right. Once, once it will be, respectively, if it should be called in the right way, yeah? Yeah, it says the secret agencies of the superpowers, so the agencies working for the superpowers in order to keep the masses ignorant for the overall sinister plan. Yeah. There it is. It. There it is. All right, so we've already talked about the underground cities, right? Yep. So alternative two as has been pretty much what you've been talking about. How but, they're, they've already established. Yeah, but that. this is but this is stuff. They, it is not only for for elite. They are not only for elites. They are huge, and they, a lot of people are are living down there, right? and they are definitely not as a slaves only for for labor, but, but only. No, definitely not. Nope. Uh -uh. But the the slave is the slave group is supposed to be with alternative three. Yeah, Isn't but I'm just trying human, to say. Human be left behind but, to die. But, but give me a second. You uh, you said alternative two because it is like billions of humanity or humanity uh, humanity. Sorry for that. On the uh, surface to perish, mm -hmm. but this is not like that. It is. Alternative two, but modified al uh, alternative uh, two. Okay. Okay. This right. is this is it. Be because uh, even those articles, some of them, I don't want to say they are fake because technically we are not presenting fake articles. No, this will this will be contract productive. I'm just trying to say even what is leaked on the internet. Uh, it is not alternative three, but they choose alternative two, some sort of weird as mixture of alternative two and alternative three, uh, because uh, few of very highly specified, uh, as I like to say, um, highly and uh, um, and uh, and uh, close like narrow specified uh, uh, elite they want to be you know like get on the on the off earth uh, with uh, with uh, this uh, what is this system spacex SpaceX, yes, yes. yes. Uh, yeah. uh, Elon, Elon Musk. Musk. Yeah. Yes, Elon Musk is he's using this. So it is some sort of very weird ass mixture of alternative uh, two and three. But technically, they want to save as much people as they can. But technically, in alternative one, they lose because they can't halt. Uh, the pollution. That's the problem. So it's some sort of weird ass mixture of all alternatives. And let's say that there should be alternative four like that. Oh, what, would, what would alternative four be? A combination of all of them? Let's say it that way. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But what, what about this blasting two large holes in the ozone? Have they done anything like that? Uh, once again, once again, uh, two large holes, it doesn't matter it is good or bad. Uh, because technically they don't need to blast any ozone holes. Because, uh, sorry, any ozone holes. 
because the problem, the main part of the problem is that uh, we as a, as a mankind, right, as a civil civilization, we created big ozone holes uh, with uh, with um, you know using uh, all kind of uh, vehicles. Airplanes, ships, whatever. Right. You know, yeah. Planes. So we actually did that um, through, uh, yeah, through the car uh, carbon dioxide or yeah, yeah, carbon dioxide, like some sort of mm, transport systems. Yeah, as mm -hmm. you said. Uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. That's 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 like real deal, like big problem you know yeah, yeah i thought that yeah this is really it's really interesting very very interesting stuff and probably people forget that this type of material has been out there for a while but just kind of like oh that will never happen you know at the time yep exactly yeah. mm -hmm. as you said no this can't happen no 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 i don't believe that yeah exactly and then bam we've got it yeah. yeah, sorry, I mean, I shouldn't be like that, but it's like, yeah. How about, will we, um, all right, I think we covered this, and like I said, I'll have the article there, people can read through, because there's some really, this there's other interesting pieces in there, too. Uh, yeah. There's an example, there's a large number of street kids and runaways have been used in certain experiments, teleportation of the physical body, but that reminds me of the Montauk Project and probably others like that and these same whistleblowers point out the mysterious holes in the ozone layer in alternative areas or well, we were just looking at an alternative reality right yeah yeah and ju i just want to say that those those street kids that technically like people uh, kids they they uh, lost their their uh, parents so they are like uh, like uh, orphans you know, mm -hmm. yeah, and uh, or maybe they they were too bad. I mean, got in trouble they, and they, ran they away. Or, yeah. they, they, the 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 parents they simply can't. Uh, they simply try to do their best, but they don't know how to raise them because they were so crazy, or whatever. Or they simply they were good, but they got to. Uh, bad, uh, bad party, bad, bad, bad Friends. crew. If we, yeah. if we, if we mm -hmm. have bad, bad influence, yeah, that they start to drink a lot, used to use uh, drug use or whatever, and uh, those kids, those children, they become very vulnerable. It is practically the same stuff as those uh, PUPs, respectively, uh, cult or white rabbit. They especially needs to use this uh, term in English, vulnerable, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, and uh, because they very often use a voltage, electro electromagnetic shock, like volt, yeah? yeah. So vul vulnerable, volt. And, uh, and uh, they simply choose they pick up them of the streets and they make them more how can i say that enhanced and advanced or whatever and they they simply got them back to the streets in in the, the montauk project they would look for kids that were roaming around you know they knew that they were kind of stray or, or you know sleeping in the street and uh, those once, again, once, again, once again Montag project is only cover project for this real deal stuff, if we want to call it that way. Wait, explain that, Peter. What does that mean? Uh -huh. That means that it is a um, cover project for... for uh, uh, okay, long story short, what happened? It was in... Uh, in, uh, in uh, I mean some sort of stuff from time to time happened right mm -hmm. but after second world war in uh, us it was it was like a blast like a blast you know and especially many many men i mean the soldiers they died during second world war you know 
and uh, you know half they were semi i mean half orphans you know and uh, it was kind of complicated to raise for single mother you know and uh, to raise the children and this kind of phenomenon it was like a blast like a lightning strike strike for from the clear sky you know and uh, they need to create some sort of cover project even once it was so highly classified i mean the official u.s authorities i mean federal ones uh, for them it was so touchy topic once it will get uh, someone accidentally you know uh, on the public that this kind of um, real deal story true story that means that someone is kidnapping our children to total different reality they are molesting them doing them crazy stuff it is even strictly i don't want to say strictly prohibited but it is so how can i say it so disgusting to talk about it that people will be so shocked i don't never ever you know government will not they can't pr pretend uh sorry pretend they can't uh, uh uh, they can't profit. I mean, they can't uh, benefit. Uh, be what benefit? They can't gain or benefit by telling this information. Is that what you're gonna say? They can't. They can't. How can I say that? Like uh, uh, foretell, predict the oh. the whole situation. If they will, how can I say that? Like uh, benefit, or if they will lose, if they will be like. Uh, heroes or the, if they will be heroes in the in the whole situation do you know what i'm trying to you say mean, the, 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 the boys that were used in the montauk project could either they don't know if they couldn't predict how they were going to turn out no no, no give me heroes? a second give me a second i'm trying to say that people in the government the highest people in the government in dc i mean in washington they don't know how uh, the common people, how public will react once they will found out somehow accidentally the truth that <sighs> group of beings, intelligent beings, uh, constantly kidnapping. They are constantly kidnapping, molesting, ed enhancing and advancing the the common children, street children. And they are getting them back, you know, and they don't know. They, I mean, elites in uh, so governments in 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 DC in in, in um, Washington, if they don't know. If they can't predict. They if they will be losers, that means like zeros, or winners, that means uh, heroes. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Right. And right. They, because of this, they created fake project. And this fake project is uh, Montauk. Uh, no, no, no. I don't want to say it is fake. I don't want to say it is useless. I am just trying to say that it was created just because of this. This is absolutely... Is, is it an experiment to see how the public would react to this information? Exactly. Mental, it did, ex it mental, mental, mental experiment... Uh, within mental, I mean, to to cover um, m another experiment. It is absolutely ridiculously crazy. Yes, but that's like that's like MK Ultra, right? Is a similar. This is this is definitely part of MK Ultra agenda. Yeah. No, yeah. no questions asked. Definitely, the MK people, Ultra agenda. A lot of these guys have memories of going through some of this, and I give me a second because they want to do so. They the, want to leave those memories. Yeah, it was and, it was done. It was dying, done done uh, by purpose. I talked to um, Duncan Cameron a couple of times, and he he had incredible amount of pain from the experiments that they did on him. Incredible. Like he couldn't even have you know uh, electronics around him. Because it hurt in any type of frequencies. It's hypersensitive. Of course. I believe it. 
hundred percent, Lisha. Yeah. So I mean, but that's like one one attribute. I'm sure there's others. That just you know, people are trying to sort it out. Yeah. So yeah. I think that we we don't we can skip the Montag monster because is it's that real? Very is that easy. A real yes, creature? yes, very easy, very easy. It is uh, a dog cat a hybrid. Wow, that's crazy. And who did that? The, the, the government did that in the, well. in the in the Montauk. They, yeah. During the Montauk, it is some sort of side effect. South sor sorry, uh, side uh, effect. South south sort of Mon non Montauk effect. It's absolutely crazy. We, we can. I don't want to say we can. I don't want to say we can skip that. But I am just saying. Yeah. It. No. No. That's that's all we need. I, I think that's all we need to talk about with that. I just wanted to show you and see if there was anything true in it. Um, so there must be other some creatures too. I know in south southern part of the United States and other places that the the uh, um, the the animal uh, with uh, what do they call it when you, when you investigate the strange creatures, the hybrids or whatever that they found, um, like the skunk beast or whatever, you know. Yeah, it's absolutely crazy. These are all from uh, experiments, for yep. sure. Yeah, yeah well, they yeah, yeah, have yeah. the Yeti here, too, is another one. All right, so I'm going to go on to the next story. Uh, this this right here is um, Lynn Shelton, Little Fires Everywhere, director, dies at 54. So it was a TV show called Little Fires Everywhere, and we know that there has been little fires everywhere, especially in California. Um, and yeah. she is uh, she was the director. She's young. In mid thirties, and she just died. She had a, a weird. No, no, no. Death. Uh, she she died at uh, forty five. Uh, sorry, my bad. Uh, Fifty four, my bad. Uh, she began in, in her thirties, but the stuff oh, okay. is that uh, uh, the age wasn't accurate. Because she was multiple time uh, de-aged. That means like, uh, how can I say that? She was like 150, almost 200 years old or, or something like oh. that. Like triple aged, maybe four, uh, four times age. Uh, do you know what I'm trying to say? Like, Was she working with Mark? Because there's a mark Yeah, here. no, 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 no. Please stop laughing about that. It is it's not funny. True, right? Because everyone, Mark, Mark, Mark with C or K, it doesn't matter. Mark. Mark Marin? Mark yeah, yeah, uh, Duplass? Yeah. I'm just trying yeah. to say. I'm just trying to say, hey, look at that. This is not, this is not funny. Yeah. Well, Peter, this is... All right, so you didn't tell me this earlier. So, um... What is they going to move her on to another agenda, or what are they? Going no, to no, do? no. Once again, uh, they can uh, rip. Uh, they can simply replace her with another one, because uh, it is not a big deal for them. Make I don't know, like okay, you died in uh, like 40, 45, 50, 50, uh, 4, 55, and they can do it over and over and over the same si circle. It's not a big deal for them. Or maybe uh, DH, not the re H, but DH as my friend, and he was like, "What? This this is nonsense!" And he's like, 23, 24, 25, and he can't age. He is not aging at all. This my friend, <laughs> you know, and he was born in 1968. Crazy. Hmm. All right. So, um, in in the. Um, but not all of them are connected to Mobius that are... Of course, of course they are. Of course they are. Oh, they are? Yeah, once again. Yeah. they. Of course they are. Of course they are. I guess yeah, yeah. his name is Mark, I guess. Yeah, but look at that. All the all Marks are all over the place. And I just want to say, Mark. Mark, that means as a Mark. That for example, once uh, you are dead... And you are killed. You was killed, for example. Yeah, I mean yeah. the the crime was committed. That means, for example, you've got some sort of mark. For example, some sort of scarf, or maybe some sort of tattoo. 
or how can I say it? Scarf uh, after piercing or whatever. Scarf after I don't know dog bite or uh, you was hit by the bullet. Do you know what I'm si- trying to say? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so mark, yeah, mark, yeah. Mark. It is multiple. It has multiple uh, meaning. It is something like trigger. That means you need to hit the trigger in order to fire from gun. But trigger is also this pattern. And also pattern as a word in uh, is all over the place in TV show French, but they showed in in TV show French a uh, trigger that means uh, that means um, three G R like three times green and one time red. Do you know what I mean? So mm-hmm. everything is mutually connected. Like Mark, it is not a random name. It is name for Mark. You need to be marked. That means like uh, you are signed that yes, this is the one. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Some sort of tattoo or wow. whatever, or maybe as, as I said, scarf or whatever, whatever. So she's identified as being a part of Mobius. They yep. um, re-aged her multiple times and she has a specific role or do they have her do different roles? Of, of, of course, of course, specific role, specific role. Once, what is... again, once again, once again, pattern, pattern, as we said, as, uh, respectively, as we showed in this uh, picture uh, in, uh, because of stopped, uh, stop, stopped video. Pattern, pattern, all the times, pattern, everything is com- complicated. You know, respectively, uh, they they are calling it plan for new world order, but technically it is very similar to plan uh, to pattern in they they call it pattern in um, in TV show French. Yeah, and right here, little fires everywhere. So she's yeah, in, yeah, and, yeah. And in LA, so there were some fires there recently too. Again, yeah, yeah, and yeah. usually there's lots of little fires. In California, so was she? She's involved or triggering people to uh, light those fires. Yeah. Okay. So this is it. Isn't this interesting? Yeah, very interesting. All right. Yeah. So here's here's the next story. Now this is an old story, right? It's 2017. No, give me a second. It doesn't matter. It is old. It is actually how can I say it? Illustrating that. Everyone who wants to get out with something very interesting and very not sorry not on, on interesting only but important much more it is it isn't like it is like much more important immediately killed he or she will be immediately killed like determinate do you know what I'm trying to say DC dickiest am I right right. So this, um, he, so he was a rock star, high level uh, pedal gate information, and he was uh, from legendary audio slave and Soundgarden frontman Chris Cornell. Yeah, he begins to merge that adds further speculation, suspicion of his premature death. He was yeah. working closely with various foundations to help him protect children, and. Um, I guess that they were claiming that he had uncovered evidence of cocaine and child trafficking ring in Mena, Arkansas, and it was tied to Bill and Hillary Clinton. Um, and according to the his identity, high-level elites that were part of the same satanic Illuminati occult mm-hmm. operation as the Clintons planned to expose their goings-on right before he died. So, yeah, that's... I'm just know. trying to say that it is very. He how sings can I say that? this song right here, "Black Hole Sun," too. Yes, and I just wanna say something. I just wanna say something like uh, it is the very close uh, topic as was this survey. Like we, we, you can see that it is June uh, 12, uh, 2017, and this crazy as survey. <clears throat> it uh, caused uh, headaches and nausea to many, I mean, I don't want to say too many, to all of the people they uh, were forced technically to be part uh, of this, this uh, what is was this survey. If, uh, if it, it happened one year later in uh, 
May or June 2018, if it will be okay or fine, or I don't know, whatever, uh, to what it was, to show underage uh, uh, children uh, pictures on Facebook. And they were, <laughs> yes, and I was like, yeah, they, they were allowing, they're, they won't allow you to post anything about COVID-19 on Facebook, but they'll, they're, they're telling everyone it's okay to post children that are underage and have them in, in, um, inappropriate, uh, in, inappropriate, what, like, uh, uh, undressed or, or yes, whatever. Undressed yeah, or, or touched them in a, in a, in uh, inappropriate way yeah. or whatever. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So that, you know, it's, it's very upside down and backwards and uh but that's because we have to say something and say this is this is not tolerable but you know i don't know what um mark mark zuckerberg <laughs> we have yes. the name mark again uh, hey, yes of that. course yes of course as, as i said mark will be all over the place yeah so uh, and as someone wants to say me it is coincidence it is definitely not coincidence yep and this had to do with the ambassador of belgium who's busted in 2013. so he yep. had this information and they they said that you know he knew about uh i guess let's see arrested in in the virgin islands resides allegedly secret hideaway of the the child trafficking ring names uh you know we know about this pedo island Jeffrey Epstein and uh, the smuggling but of the children. This, it's all is, of this stuff this, they're bringing but up. But isn't but isn't this uh, everything so like wicked and twisted? Jesus, man, this is nah. This, this is his lyrics. Loves like a suicide, dazed in a garden bed with broken necklace. My broken gift, just like suicide. I mean, it was really bad stuff that you know he was singing about, and um. You know, trying to reveal stuff, but he also sings "Black Hole Sun," which, which is the black sun, and hey, so yep. yeah, you are smart. Sorry, I mean, so. uh -huh. <laughs> sorry. his mother, he was Catholic, um, and mother was Jewish. Yeah. So uh, yeah, so w w what's your idea about him singing "Black Hole Sun"? Uh, you mean that uh, uh, his father was from he from where? I don't know. It doesn't say where his father was from. They just say that the father was Catholic and yeah. the mother was Jewish. So maybe if we look a little deeper, we could find out. But I think, oh, what is your idea about him singing that song, Black Hole Sun? Uh, he, he was trying to, to get some sort of info out. And that was the, the punishment for. He was killed, you know. Yeah, they went too far. Yep. Oh, okay. So do we have any any other stuff to talk about? Well, I had this article. This is an old one. I thought it was a more recent one about this uh, ch Canadian child pornography bus, but this was in 2013. But for some reason, I put those two together, and I don't know why. Um, he was trying to expose some of that stuff, and it came out. And there were 348 adults arrested at that time. And um, yeah, I mean, maybe more of that kind of stuff's happening. This is in uh, Toronto, Toronto. But they don't know. Okay, so what do you think? I think, do we have any stuff and, and other stuff to talk about? Because I think that we are pretty much fine. Yeah, this is the last thing I brought up. Um, this is the next level of uh, video gaming. And I think it's working on, I think they said it's working on a trinary system or um, they're using uh, uh, small like triangles and to create a different kind of depth as well as some other technology. But I thought, well, maybe this is moving more into the holographic forms or yeah. something else. Yeah. What, what what else would you think this is? Shifting to uh, receiving new uh, new level, new context of existence. But that's pretty much uh, everything you, we want to know, respectively, we need to know, because this is it. Period. End of story. And you can see, you can see, I don't, I don't want to, like, I don't want to have the audio up. Um, but anyhow, you know, you could, there's just, 
I thought it was pretty interesting to listen to as in this new technology and probably people are going to get more immersive in it. Oh, here it is. It's nanite visualized micro, micro polygon geometry. So lumen in the land of nanite. And this is it. We are here again. Yeah. Uh, nano pico fento. Bam. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, but this is like that. Uh, X yeah. minus X10 minus nine. It's uh, nano X. Uh, 10 minus 12 is Pico and X10 minus 15 it's Femto. Period. End of story. We are all over the place. Am I right? We are talking, we were talking about it so many times. Am I right? Yeah. And this is what, and also because of all the gaming that people have been talking about and how it's going to become very more immersive of how they're creating stuff. And so, um, but it's a uh, uh, a micro polygon geometry. Well, what is that, Peter? Uh, they are using also called sacred geometry, as you know. It's like um, help me, uh, Freemasonry. They did that, you know, sacred geometry. Uh, they are making cathedrals, huge churches, and whatever. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. So technically it will be something like that, but implement it on, uh, uh, let us say, the modern era. Do you, I mean, implement it in this, uh, convert it to this, this, what is this, this uh, latest technology systems. Let's, let's call it that way. Okay, I'm just, I'm just looking it up real quick. And seeing what the if, if there's a definition, yeah, just it's 3D uh, computer graphics, and how they're they're referring to it. Um, very small relative to the image being rendered. Commonly, the size of a micro polygon is close to even less than the area of a pixel. So it allows rendering to create a highly detailed image. Yep, this is it. Yeah, so this is, and, and that's pretty much it, what we're going to talk about today, and we're going to have all of these links available, and um, uh, to me, this is a lot of really good information, and I, I appreciate that you're willing to go down this road with me, Peter, with all the different topics, yeah. and, and kind of, you know, discuss each one, and, and uh, so this is great, and uh, thank you for your time today. Uh, thank you for uh, giving me a, any other uh, this opportunity to be in your show again, and uh, I am looking forward to be here in the next time. So till next week, bye bye, people. Okay, goodbye, and thank you. Keep on listening, everyone. Thanks for supporting the station, and and uh, we will continue to give you information. Take care, be well, stay safe and healthy. You have been listening to Disclosures with Peter the Insider and Jessica Ariel Morocco. Join us on the YouTube channel Jessica Ariel Morocco and visit www.peter-insider.com and www.readingsbyariel.com Remember to post your questions in the comment section below the video. We look forward to hearing from you.